So today we're gonna give you a quick walkthrough on turning on our Campo 400,000 BTU uh, heating unit. As you notice, it is dual duct, yet meaning we have two ducts running from the same system. They can be pushed together, they can be separated direct, uh, depending on the flow you need. So let's get this puppy started for you. So we're starting off here at our tank. So we'll make sure our bottles are completely opened. Lefty Lucy on both. As you notice, it's a manifold. Depending on which unit you're doing for testing purposes, I only have two tanks here. Normally, a 400,000 would carry uh, four tanks and three manifold connections. So we've got our tanks on. So we'll walk here to the unit. So not too much to do with the unit here. So this top one uh, toggle switch here, this is the uh, fan manual override. So this is if you know you don't need heat, you want a little bit of air movement, a little bit of coolness to come through the room. This switch can be turned to the on position and fans will turn on, but fans only. Hit that switch back to the left of the off positions, no fans. So right here, this has our bypass and our thermostat and in a neutral position. Neutral positions in the middle, up would be the bypass, would be basically bypassing the thermostat, just have this thing cranked up to the high. And thermostat, of course, would be, excuse me, to control your uh, heat by thermostat. So we're going to make sure that is down to stat on. So in your tent, somewhere on a, attached to one of the legs, you'll notice a thermostat basic turn knob thermostat nothing crazy so on low means it's off so what we like to do to get her started we'll set it to about 80 just for testing purposes if we notice we start to get the flow of gas and it starts to try to purge any air that's in the system out of there it takes a little a little bit nothing too crazy you'll eventually hear uh, the igniter trying to kick in give it some time it's purging all the air out of the gas line it's a 25 foot hose one inch in diameter so it does take a little bit to push all that air out and that sound right there is the flame on so a little distinction you'll see, I'm not sure if you can see it too much in the video, but you'll start seeing a little bit of heat coming out of there, out of the flute. Put your hand near it, you'll definitely feel, feel some heat. Now, once that heating, the heating chamber inside gets to a certain temperature, then you'll, the fans will kick in. Again, a little bit more time, you're asking for this unit to get heated up in the cold, of course. So. Give it a minute, and then you'll notice the fans kick on. There's our fan. So one thing we want to look at are hoses. Make sure they have a clean path. There are no kinks. All the way through. Again, these can be positioned in any position you like. You can put your hand on the other end, you'll feel the uh, heated air instantly. And that's what we have. If we ever need to shut it down, this is what we would do. You would always come back to the thermostat and turn it down. If you're trying to shut it off all the way. So you'll notice that it'll stop blowing hot air, but you still hear the fan on. This is so that the heat is changed inside, does not, you know, cool off too quickly, and it, it won't crack on you. We have a cracked heat exchange, your heater's basically no good anymore. So, that's how you go to shut her down. Give it a few minutes, once it cools down, it will shut off on its own.